Hello and welcome. I'm Steve Zappi, Senior Product Manager for Minitab, and I'm excited to have this opportunity to share with you several of the new features and enhancements that will be available in the upcoming release of version 22 of Minitab statistical software. I'll be giving you a short glimpse of these using the desktop version of MSS. As you may know, capability analysis is an important tool used in assessing process quality and is one of the more widely used features in Minitab statistical software. In version 22, we have added non-parametric capability analysis that is used to evaluate measurement data for which no appropriate distributions apply or no transformations exist. This type of analysis is especially useful for companies in FDA-regulated industries. For instance, manufacturers of medical devices and pharmaceuticals are not only required to show that their products are capable of meeting specifications, but also need to demonstrate that assumptions of their analysis are met. Taking this a step further, we have made capability analysis even easier to use by incorporating a bit of our own AI into the software with automated capability. With this exciting new feature, Minitab automatically selects an appropriate distribution, transformation, or non-parametric method to determine how well your process output meets customer requirements. Automated distribution fitting for capability analysis provides customers with appropriate capability estimates much more quickly than the traditional and often arduous approach of manually searching for the appropriate distribution or transformation. When assessing the process variation in a measurement system, it is often more desirable to use a less strict criterion than the one recommended by AIAG, particularly with imperfect data. Dr. Wheeler's EMP criterion was established for these scenarios and is now offered from the gauge study menu in version 22. This new feature will provide customers the tools to evaluate their measurement systems with cross data using the preferred Wheeler's EMP criterion. The one proportion test in basic statistics has been expanded in version 22 with several additional methods to calculate the hypothesis test and confidence interval of a proportion of individuals with a certain characteristic of interest in a population. These additional methods improve the accuracy and appropriateness of results, particularly in quality control applications where the proportion of defectives is typically small. In version 22, two important data visualization tools have been added to Minitab's graph builder, Pareto chart and tabulated statistics. These offer powerful new ways to interactively explore and engage with data. The Pareto chart is a visualization that facilitates the application of the 80-20 rule or Pareto principle. It can help to identify the defects to prioritize that will lead to the greatest overall improvement. With tabulated statistics, customers now have a way to interactively build descriptive statistics tables using the Graph Builder's drag and drop interface and live preview. In addition, the resulting table has been redesigned to improve the readability and overall user experience. Finally, we continue to enhance the editing capabilities for those visualizations offered through the Interactive Graph Builder tool. In Minitab 22, users can now interactively customize a number of graph elements, including grid lines, reference lines, y-value data labels, and the size of the graph. Thank you for this opportunity to highlight the new features of Minitab 22. I hope you have found this useful. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have questions and feedback. In the meantime, I'm excited to start working on our next release of Minitab statistical software.